Yeah, definitely. Uh, again, super really tough conditions. Um, a lot of wind, a lot of gusting, kind of swirling wind today. Um, but I just, yeah, reminded myself of what I needed to focus on. Um, even though it was 5-2, I knew there was always still a chance I could come back, especially having break points earlier on in the set as well. Um, and that seemed to work for me. Congrats on the win, Jess. Uh, you were very complimentary of Payton the other day and like her potential. Um, in the past year, I think you guys last played at the City Open uh, last year. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of improvements has she made in her game since then? Yeah, I mean, I feel like she's just a lot maybe more match tough. Um, I felt like she kind of knows maybe how she wants to play a little bit more, where I felt like maybe last year I played her, it was a little more sporadic, and I wasn't really quite sure um, like, and like her intention of how she wanted to play. And I felt like today I could feel what she was trying to do to me. Um, so I felt like that was definitely a, a big difference I noticed from a year ago. It just, um, Taylor was in here earlier tonight and talked about the American five of you guys, ladies being in the, in the quarterfinals. And it used to be, you know, Venus and Serena and there's, you know, everyone else was trying to, you know, break that ceiling. What, what can you say about American tennis on the ladies side right now, um, where you guys are at? Yeah, I, it's it's been awesome. Um, I feel like we've been strong really for the last few years. The depth has been really good. Uh, it's amazing. We have five girls in the top 15, um, which is a crazy stat. I mean, hopefully one of us can uh, kind of step up maybe and win some more bigger tournaments as well. But I think it's, it's really cool to see. Um, I mean, me, I'm not that young, but also, you know, the younger crop maybe with like Emma and Coco and those types of girls that are uh, obviously going to have a long kind of stretch of career ahead of them, especially showing obviously already Coco's already Grand Slam champion um, at such a young age. So it's really cool. And hopefully that'll just keep inspiring more Americans and more um, girls to to want to play this sport. And I think it's growing a lot as well. And uh, that's exciting. And it's tough being uh, in the U.S., and playing tennis because there's so many bigger sports. So it's nice that we have like a good crop of girls all doing really well at the top. And hopefully we can kind of keep, you know, growing that sport. Um, yeah. In the U S too. Hi Jess. Um, congrats on the win. I I'm curious if you were to compare your level in Montreal last year where you were really consistent and even a couple of years ago in Toronto as well to the level you're playing at now, and especially tonight, how would you compare the two, and what are some of the adjustments you think you still have to make to maybe reacclimate yourself to, I guess, the hard courts or mm -hmm. just to um, be being matched up again as well? Yeah, I would say I was probably playing better last year. Um, but to be fair, I don't. It seems weird this week. I, I don't feel like anyone's playing like great tennis. It's been kind of ugly matches. Um, I don't really know why. I think well, one, we're back to the the regular duty, the lighter balls, which maybe are flying a little bit more on us. And then obviously the last couple of days with the conditions have just been really, really tough. So it's hard to kind of base, um, give like a true feeling of how I'm playing. Uh, I I feel like my first round against Pliskova, I played at a high level. I play, feel like in doubles, I played at a pretty high level. But the last two single matches with the conditions have been tricky to kind of gauge. But um, I mean, last year in Montreal, I played some really good tennis. Uh, yeah, it was a great week, so it's it's hard to compare, but um, every day is kind of a new a new day with tennis, so you never know how you're going to go out there and play, and you always have the next day to, to improve and play better. So um, I'm just trying to work my way back up there, especially with not a lot of hardcore wins under my belt yet. Hi, Jess. Congrats on the win. Uh, so in the second set, um, you know, when and things were not going your way, there was one moment where you went back to the bench, and then, I don't know, something happened, and then you went back to dominating the entire mm -hmm. thing. I'm curious to know that when in moments like this, do you have something that you tell yourself to come back, or in, in pressure moments, what do, you, what do you do, and how did you? Um, well, sometimes I think it's good to kind of let out emotion. If At least for me, I'm not super emotional, so when I do let it out, I think it does kind of help me clear my head and reset a little bit. So sometimes you need to do that. But I think it just has to be one of those things where you let it out and you reset and you like get back right into the present moment of, of winning the next points. And um, I think for me, I, I knew I was close to breaking her every single game, so I knew I was going to have chances, um, and I just wanted to really – 
I just reminded myself on the things I needed to focus on, which was moving my feet and staying aggressive no matter how the wind was moving or swirling um, and just focusing on that. And then on my service games, it was just to hold, really. I just wanted to keep holding and give myself chances. Um, And luckily, you know, it it worked out like that. But um, it's not always the same every day. I mean, you're always telling yourself different stuff. But to me, it's just to stay calm and and to focus on what you need to focus on. And, um, and then if there's any pent up energy, maybe just to kind of let it out, whether it's to yourself or to your coach or whoever it is real quick, and then just kind of reset and get in the right mind frame.